Hi everybody, in this video we're going to spend our entire time looking at an example and learning how it is built. And I don't have a great name for this example, I just call it slide an image on hover and it does exactly what you think it does. And along the way we're going to learn some little bit of CSS layout techniques along with how to use CSS transitions to make sure the sliding is done really smoothly. So let's get started. Okay, so before we start looking at how to implement this mysterious effect, let's take a look at what it looks like. So here I have my browser, and in the browser I have an image. And when I hover over it, notice the image slides. So by default, you see a state of the image where it's a black background with a white smiley. And when I hover over it, you animate into a version of the image with a yellow background and a black smiley. And the effect we're going to be creating is essentially going to be this. So the first thing you need to create this effect is you need an image. You can use any image you want, but if you want to follow along with what I'm doing, especially with some of the measurement values I'll be using, it's probably easiest to follow along the image that I'm going to be using. So I'll just go ahead and get the image from bit.ly slash slide image. It's a simple PNG file, so take a moment, download it, and put it somewhere on disk or somewhere in your project that you can easily reference. All right, so now that we got the, the introduction out of the way and you have an idea of what you're going to create, let's go ahead and start the process of creating it. And the way we're going to do this is by gradually taking each part of our code piece by piece and building up the example in smaller chunks. So first, bring up a code editor and create a blank HTML page. I don't care what code editor you use, I don't care what is in your blank HTML page, you see the place where you can add some HTML, add some script tags. In this case, you can see here, I have a very simple HTML page with really nothing going on, I have just the bare minimum content, the dot type HTML and all of that. So now, let me also turn on live preview. You can also, you know, there are many ways of doing this. You can also just save and preview in the browser, but I'm using the Atom code editor with the live preview you know, a package added to it. So I get to see code being updated as I am making changes. So it's kind of cool. So it would be like, hi, or P. Hi, everyone. If I can spell things correctly. It's already off to a great start, isn't it? You'll see hi, everyone displaying in the, in the code editor. I mean the preview window, so it's kind of cool. All right, so first of all, let's start it. Let's start with what we're gonna do. So in our example, we have an image that slides up and down on hovering. And so whenever I'm trying to recreate an example or try to explain something, let's start with something visual first. Let's go and get the image loaded into our document. So for that, I'm gonna add the image tag, img source equals, and I have a screen over here where I can just gonna copy and paste some of these values manually. So it's not really copy and paste after all and images slash smiley.png. And let's go ahead and close this tag. Notice that I'm missing the alt tag here, I'm just gonna keep it. Just simple, just a, a, I mean a little pound character. We're fine, so you see the image right here. And while we're at it, let me go ahead and just make some minor changes to make sure the image is you know, better visible. Let me add a style region and style our body element. So this will basically just do some very basic cleanup work. So I'm going to give it a background color. Let's give it a good light gray. And let's also give it a padding of 100 pixels, just so you can actually see the image much more clearly. All right, so we basically have the first step in getting our particular you know, effect going. We have the image showing up. Now the next thing we want to do really is Right now the image's top half and bottom half are showing. We want to clip it somehow. We want to make sure that we're not showing more than what we really need to unless you're hovering over it. So the way we're going to do that is by wrapping our first our image into a div element. Let me just do that right now. Okay, and just to help make it easier to style this, let's go ahead and give it a class value. I'm going to do a class value of picture container. All right. So we have development, and of course, right now, just adding a development, wrapping it around our image, isn't really gonna do anything. Your, your example looks exactly the same as it would have did a few seconds ago. Let's go and fix that though. Let's go ahead and create a style rule that targets a picture container. So create a selector dot picture container, and anything I write here will end up affecting the, the development that is currently wrapping our image element. So the first thing I wanna do is, like I mentioned, is clip what you're seeing right now. Right now you're seeing both halves of the image, only we want to see one part of it. So I'm going to go ahead and the width of this is going to be where the image width is, which in this case is 150 pixels, 150, 1,500, and the height is going to be 150 pixels as well. Okay, 
Now that I've done this, you know, you'd imagine that there'd be some clipping or some visual indication going on. That's not how it works. What I need to do now is explicitly tell uh, the browser that the height and width I provided will require some clipping. And that is done with the overflow property. So when I do overflow hidden, now notice that we basically have a virtual container that is 150 pixels in width and height that is now clipping everything below it. Great, it's exactly, exactly what we wanted. All right, so now we are almost at the home stretch, believe it or not. All we need to do now is make sure that when you're hovering over the image, we slide the image up and down. So what I'm gonna do is create another slide, no, create another style rule, call this picture container and image. In this case, whatever I'm typing is going to affect the image element that is currently inside the picture container div element. So what I'm gonna do here is say, actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave this one empty right now. We'll get back to this in a second. I'm gonna do picture container image hover. And what I wanna do is when I hover over this element, I want to make sure that we display the version of the yellow side of the, of the image that is currently occluded or hidden from view. So I'm gonna use a translate transform and use a translate 3D function to essentially specify what exactly is going to happen to your pixels. And notice that we're using translate 3D because of performance reasons. All right, when I hover over the element, notice that I hover over it, you actually go from the black version of the image to the yellow version of the image. Pretty, pretty simple. And the, what we want though, of course, we want a slide, we want an animation. We want it to actually, you know, look kind of cool, look a little different than what you might have normally seen. So what I'm gonna do here is to specify a transition. And when I say transition, in this case, we're animating the transform property, transform, and let's make it over a period of two seconds. And let's give it an easing function. Let's just call it ease in out. All right, now I'm hovering over it. Notice what happens. The, when I hover over it, the image slides from one side to the other. Now, let's talk about exactly what happened, just as a quick recap before we you know, call it a day. The image itself is pretty straightforward, nothing, nothing in HTML that is worth calling out. But what is interesting, though, is the content that is actually in the CSS. You know, the first part is actually clipping the image to make sure that only a small portion of it is visible. We don't only want half of it to be available. And that con that's controlled by the picture container with the real star being the overflow property. The next part is the easy one, which is really just making sure that when you are hovering over the image, we change the position, which is controlled by the transform property right here on image hover. And then to animate the to change in position, we make sure that we have a transition property with the transform key, with the transform property being the, the one the transition is actually actually listening for. So there you have it, a very, very, very simple example that kind of ties in like some very simple concepts on layout, uh, mainly clipping, and also your transition and the translate 3D function to ensure you have really performant, you know, scrolling behavior when you're hovering over an image. Now, you know, if you want something even cooler, the easing function I use was ease in out, which is not the most boring easing function, but also not the most exciting one ever created either. So, you know, play with different ones, even use a cubic bezier function if you're really, really into it. And you'll create some really cool examples like little snapping and bounces and all that. So with that, if you want to learn more about how to create similar examples, go to kufa.com. There's a boatload of content, boatload of content on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript topics. And if you have any questions, post in the forums. And you can also find me everywhere else on Twitter, at Krupa, Facebook, and YouTube. So I'll be happy to help answer any questions you have. And of course, if you want to learn more about how to create effects like this in a more, more cohesive, more comprehensive way, there's a book out there with over 500 pages of stuff on creating animations in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You can find it on Amazon in paperback and Kindle editions. So definitely check it out. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.